Okay, what is this object, you might ask yourself? Well, this is a speed charger for battery. And this is the front fuse panel on a 2005 second gen Toyota Prius. It's got 204,000 miles on it. And for any of those that want to know how to charge your battery, that's how you do it. Uh, that's one way, unless you want to directly connect to the battery, which is, you want to get in? Which is right back here, where Nash is going. But it's right there. You have to take this out and then basically um, you, you peel this back. Now the cover, there's a chart, there's a cover here. Take this out, take the whole entire tray out, and then you can, um, you can get to it, your battery back there and charge it. Same as you're charging it with these right here, right? So this is your positive, this is your negative. Your negative's grounded to this grounding bolt. And then um, when you hook them up, basically all you do is uh, you <coughs> hook up, you, you pop this cover off. This cover will come off pretty easy. And then uh, you peel this back, pop this one, this little cover back, hook up your positive, hook up your negative, then connect the power. And then your speed charger will start charging. I'm using um, six amp large battery size um 12 volt of course and then it's up to 75 so i'm just going to disconnect it here pretty soon but the reason i'm making this video is um the the car has been it's for whatever reason it's been slowly every once in a while just pop up the triangle of death and get the v uh, the vsc codes and all that stuff and which is really aggravating because then what i'd have to do is i'd have to go to the back and and do what i was saying i would have to take off the uh the back cover and then uh you know undo everything, put everything back together, and then all my codes will go away, which is great, but um, you don't want to have to do that every 100 miles like I was doing. So um, a couple weeks ago, I put a charger on the battery, even though it didn't, it seemed like when I would go to start, it would give me a little bit of a fade between, um, you know, when you're starting a, when you're starting a car. And I was like, huh, maybe the battery's a little bit low. So what happened was I did that. I did, I, I, I charged the battery and then I was keeping close track of of the mileage and when I had to go back there and disconnect the battery to um, clean out the code so I could keep driving. And uh, I noticed that when I charged the battery, that's when I didn't have to like reset, reset, go back there and disconnect the battery anymore for whatever reason. Um, there's a draw somewhere in the car, obviously, I don't know where it is, but I don't really care. Like all I, all I know is that like, if I go and put this charger on the car once every couple weeks and keep the battery topped off, I don't have any problems with the um, the dash, because I've done videos before where the dash lights would just completely go like out, um, and then I would have to like go through that sequence, um, and I'd also have to um, go back and, and disconnect the battery and so forth. So what I found now is if I do it this way, just keep this battery charged, um, that prevents me from having to go through and disconnecting the battery, and it also is helping with the dash. Now I'm not quite sure which is what, like what, what causes what. Um, I also know that if you open this door and you close it, you slam it. That what happens is, uh, for whatever reason, that would set the um, that would set the dash off too. Like that's that's what would disconnect. Um, you know, basically blank out the dash, and you'd have to go through that sequence of like turning the lights on and all that stuff. Um, so, this is just a short tip or a quick tip of what I found to work for me. I don't know if it'll work for anybody else, but keeping that 12 volt battery in the back charged by doing this, going through with a with a charger, a quick charger, and just hooking up to it every once every couple weeks, um, it seems to have fixed. Right now, it seems to have fixed and helped my problem out to this point. Um, this is the last piece of the puzzle, I think, as far as what I know to do preventatively to keep those lights and codes from um, coming on is to keep that 12 volt battery charged. Um, and that's about it. That's all I can say. So, yeah, I might come back with another update on the Prius at some point if I need to, but um, up to now, uh, that's where we are. And um, if you've hung out until now, uh, thanks for watching. And um, I hope it helps. I really do. It's like, that's the reason I make videos because. I wanted to pass some sort of tip along to everybody else that might need that tip in their life. Um, and uh, yeah, so get a speed charger. They're pretty cheap. And uh, you can do the sequence of, the, of hooking up and just plug it into your AC outlet at the house. Remember, you can do either a large or a medium um, uh, amperage. So six amps or four amps, um, 12 volt. And yeah, that's it.